Welcome to SC25 here in St. Louis, Missouri. This is the supercomputing conference to end all supercomputing conferences, talking all things HPC. And we're going to get into a uh, very cool subject with Delta Electronics, specifically talking about their cooling solutions that go from the chip level all the way through the system and data center level. And I have two very interesting guests to talk about that. Dr. Tan, welcome. And Jeff Chang, welcome. Thank you, Zalas. I just want to jump right in. Um, you, Delta Electronics has what it refers to as a chip to system approach, sort of a starting at the microprocessor level, going through amazing systems like the CDU behind us. What, what were the customer challenges and market trends that you've seen that led you to go in that direction? So uh, the chip to system comes higher computing density and uh, higher thermal loss, driving by AI and the HPC workload. Traditional cooling is reaching the limit as uh, like uh, the chip power over 1,000 watts and the rack density over 100 kilowatts. Customer now require scalable, energy efficient, and uh, easy deployable cooling systems that work across from grid to system. So Delta offer integrated cooling system from chip, ball, rack, and uh, system level. This end-to-end -end design makes smart performance and uh, energy efficiency while enabling modular scalability and uh, simple deployment. By unified cooling at all layers, Delta supports the sustainable long-term growth of a global AI infrastructure. I'm interested in your microchannel lid and integrated heat spreader technologies. And I'm curious about how your history with um, you know, your sort of core competence in sustainable energy solutions mm -hmm. has, has fostered that. What, what can you tell me about that? So uh, Delta microchannel lead and uh, integrate heat spreader technology are engineered to deliver superior the thermal performance at uh, the chip interface. And uh, this solution leverage Delta precision thermal engineering expertise to reduce the thermal resistance and improve heat transfer efficiency. Yeah, and this technology leading by next group of engineers while uh, allow people to go in higher computing with the uh, 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 energy uh, needing, also reducing the energy uh, footprint moving forward for next generation uh, upcoming AI service. And when we call it a micro channel lid, mm -hmm. it's the form factor is like a lid on the microprocessor itself. Yes, yes. I think tra traditionally we do the co-play on top of the lid. So yeah. Delta is studying on using the lid to target the heat source from where it comes from, right? So, so to better spread the heat source before the co-play get to target on, do the cooling uh, uh, job on that chip. And that's something that would be designed in yes. and would sort of enter the supply chain at an earlier point. Exactly, yeah. at the chip design level. Right. Got yes. it. Got it, very interesting. Well, so when we look at AI data centers, right now we're, we're absolutely pushing the limits of density and power to an AI rack. Um, what are the advantages of your liquid to air hybrid systems in terms of balanced performance? AI data center now operate at uh, the high power density that require integrated approach rather than a single cooling method. So Delta's uh, portfolio span four level subsystem and uh, system level cooling enabled flexibility deployment in both new build and uh, retro environments. And the liquid cooling solution, including corporate for next generation AI chip, in raw CDU and uh, rack manifold for high capacity heat remove. Air cooling solution range from high efficient server fans to advanced HVDC fans designed for room and the facility level cooling. So Delta Total Thermal Solution provides seamless integration for next generation infrastructure. 
So there isn't one size, there, this is not a one size fits all world no. at this point. No. And air cooling is still relevant today. Yes. However, it is a one uh, stop shop, a Delta cooling solution. As we started from cooling our own power supply, now we move into what Nick has mentioned, the liquid cooling side, right? So we're going to be focused on efficiency, efficiency, right? Let's talk about, uh, you say one watt at cooling level. So that translates into exponentially uh, energy saving at a facility level. Like for example, let's say if you are a farmer, you're farming apple, right? With years of experience and expertise, you can actually produce one extra apple per tree. And per se, you have 1,000 trees. They give you 1,000 extra apple, right? One watt, 1,000 watts. Now you have megawatts. Yeah. One million apples, something like that. Yeah, yeah I, love, I love the orchard analogy. Let's, let's stick with that for a moment. Okay. Because imagine we're looking at this and this is one apple tree. When you look at a hyperscaler like Google, who has arguably very, very, very large orchards mm -hmm. of <laughs> mm -hmm. servers and things that need to be cooled. What, what are you doing to collaborate with hyperscalers like, like, a, like a Google? So uh, Delta contribute to uh, industrial-wide innovation in open and the scalable cooling systems for hyperscale AI environment. Solutions such as uh, two megawatts in raw project issues, open CDU, highlight the market shift toward large capacity module and uh, surface ability, liquid cooling design, slow cross uh, engagement uh, with a uh, hyperscale such as the uh, Google. Delta Align is an uh, engineering roadmap with a uh, customer operation need and uh, real world data center challenges. By supporting open architecture and uh, energy efficient design principle, Delta helps accelerate the industrial tra transition towards sca scalable cooling ecosystem built for AI growth. So something like this model that, that we see behind us would be designed into say, uh, you know, hyperscalers often refer to a pod of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. This would be two megawatts worth of cooling and as those monster data centers are built yeah. out, you would think of two megawatts, two megawatts, two megawatts, and it would be part of the design. Yes, as in. Google's TBU design, I think their perspective is to start with the, they want to put all the TBU together, denser and denser, right? Then yeah. As they pro progress in lab routes, you need more cooling, right? So we starting changing from in rack into the in row scale, and then multiple in row scale, moving forward, working with Google. As you look ahead and you think about your integrated thermal solutions, how is this going to shape sort of the evolution of next generation AI and high performance computing in general? If we think about power coming in, heat needing to be dissipated, first of all, we have to figure out how to generate the power. But, but so how, how will you be shaping that evolution moving forward? Delta's uh, integrated thermal solutions are positioned to drive the global in involution of the AI and the HPC by bridging sustainable, scalable, and high performance. We bridge chip level, ray level, facility level cooling to optimize thermal performance across the entire com computing ecosystem. And the long-term vision is to enable carbon smart data center where intelligent power and the thermal system work together to minimize energy waste and the support overall grid standard. This innov innovation support the industrial broader movement toward net zero goals while unlocking higher computer density and the performance for future generation of the AI and the HPC system. It, 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 makes, it makes a lot of sense. And when, when, you, when you look at the significant constraint that the availability of power represents, one way to attack that is, oh, just generate more power. Yep. <laughs> We're not sure exactly how the world is going to do that yet. But along the way, making sure we use that power as efficiently as possible by doing exactly what you're doing, starting out at that microgrid lid level all the way through every step, liquid, liquid air hybrid, all the way through what is now a two megawatt 
standard, you're attacking that from an efficiency perspective one step at a time. I'm curious, do you, do you see in the future more standardization across, or do you think that your, um, your chip through system design is going to be something that will be needed forever? No, like you said, right? Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit. It's a bit of yeah. It's speculation. Out, right? Yeah, but like you said, right? I think people are driving into like a standard, right? OCP, like Nvidia is driving to everybody to be a standard, right? To make it more efficient for everybody, right? As we know, we are moving into an AI. It's an AI as a backbone of the human being, right? So the efficiency of power, you keep mentioning, that, and also the cooling solution, the uh, the driving force, right? The the pace of progress of our AI moving forward, right? So as Delta, uh, we, we position ourselves not only as a technology solution provider, but actually a thought a leader on the sustainable uh, foundation in this AI era moving forward. Uh, any final any final thoughts from either of you? Yeah, oh, maybe one more last thing. As Link Nation, right? The chip level reaching 1,000 watts. Yeah. The viewers, by the time you see this, it's probably 2,000 watts. So, so great point, great point. While we're all impressed by 1,000 watts, we're pushing towards 2,000 watts. I like to remind people that the average hair dryer might be around 1,500 watts. Imagine 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 of those things in generating heat in a cabinet. We're talking about massive amounts of yes. heat that has to be dissipated. But coming it's from nice this and cool. little square. Yes, it's nice and cool in here and we're, we're very comfortable. It's, it's hard until you're standing next to these systems that have to be cooled, it's hard to fully appreciate it, but that's, yes. a, that's an excellent yes. point. So watch that. By the time you see this, yeah, that the era of 2000 watt GPUs will be upon us. Dr. Tan, Jeff, thanks so much for spending time with us to talk about your cool technology. For 6.5 in the booth, I'm Dave Nicholson. Stay tuned for more exciting coverage of all events related to supercomputing and the HPC industry. Thank <laughs> you.